Hey everyone, this is Michelle over here at Boonbabe, and today I'm going to be showing you an easy daily farming route that can get you up to 295,000 farming XP in less than 30 minutes. So starting out with inventory, I would recommend wearing full graceful or the farmer's outfit, an equipped axe if you plan on cutting down your own trees, a dig side pendant, and a ring of charos if you'll need to charter a ship to Brimhaven. For your inventory, a rune pouch with tallies to Falador, Varrock, and Lumbridge, a crystal tally seed, six of your highest level fruit tree saplings, six of your highest level regular tree saplings, three of your highest level hardwood saplings, one cow quat sapling, one redwood sapling, one celestial sapling, a spade, a rake if you do not have auto weed unlocked, several thousand gold if not cutting down your own trees, and either the items to protect your saplings or compost. Since I'm going to do all of the highest level trees in the game, I want to make sure that they don't die. So I'm going to bring with me 240 coconuts for the dragon fruit and magic trees, 75 yanillion hops for mahogany trees, 8 poison ivy berries for the calquat tree, 6 dragon fruits for the redwood tree, and 8 potato cacti for the celestial tree. My daily farming run does include a spore KC, but there's no need to grab the seed until the end of the run as you'll need to gear up for the fight anyways. But be sure to bring a spade and seed diver with you when you do start the fight, as well as a rake if you still have weeds. Starting on my run from the GE, I like to first run over to the spirit tree and head to the gnome stronghold. To the east of the spirit tree is a fruit tree patch where we'll plant our sapling and then head southwest to the regular tree patch. After planting this tree, I head back to the spirit tree and telly to the tree gnome village. Leave through the gate to the west and right click follow Elkoi out of the maze. Then to your southwest, you'll have your next fruit tree patch. From here, I tally to the middle of Varrock and plant a tree to the northeast in front of the castle. Telling to Lumbridge, I can run west and a little north behind the castle to get to my next tree patch before heading to Falador. From this tally location, you'll run east to Falador Park, then head over to Taverly. There are several ways to get to Taverly, some of the most popular being using a games necklace and running south, using home telly if you have your PUH located there, or my own preferred method of just telling to Falador once again and running north and then west. Regardless of what you did, once you get there, plant this tree and tally back to your POH if you have Catherine in your nexus, or alternatively, you could use the Camelot tally and run it southeast. This next fruit tree patch will be to the east of the tally, next to the grapple rock agility shortcut. If you do not have the Brimhaven spirit tree unlocked, from here you can run over to the Catherine docks and charter a ship to take you to Brimhaven. However you found your way to Brimhaven, you'll run over to the fruit tree patch near Hajadi, south of the docks. Plant your sapling and run south to get to Taibo and I. You could also use a tele scroll to get to this location faster, but personally, I don't mind the run and I've really gotten used to it over time. In Taibo and I, we're going to plant our Calquat tree and use our Crystal Tele Seed to teleport us to Letya. In the Elf Realm, you'll find a fruit tree to your east and a little bit south. From Letya, head to Fossil Island, where you can find three hardwood patches just north of the rowboat. After planting these saplings, head over to the Farming Guild if you have access to it and the correct levels. You can use the skills necklace, farming cape, or fairy ring CIR to get here quickly. If you're level 65 or higher, you can plant a regular tree in the bottom left section. And if level 85 or above, a fruit tree in Celestia's tree in the north section, as well as a redwood at level 90 plus. After you're done with these, grab your spory gear and seed and do the fight to finish off your farming run. I won't be going over the fight in this video, but I do have a really old one where I show how to do the boss with every different combat style, and likely I will be making an updated guide to it pretty soon. If you've already done his story before and have access to a Chrono Seed, I'd also highly recommend planting this in the Anima Patch in the west section of the Farming Guild to help your Redwood, Hardwoods, and Aspori grow much quicker, as normally they can take days. That is going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments if you do your farming runs any differently, and if this helped you at all. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. You can also catch me live on Twitch five days a week at twitch.tv slash boonbabe. And every Thursday on the OSRS podcast, I co-host also called Boonbabe, which can be found on this channel or wherever you get your podcast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time.